Hey guys, this is Johnny and in this video I'm going to talk about go.signal and how you can achieve similar results with them as Unity's events. You can see here in Unity I've created a delegate called test delegate and an event object of this type called test event. The test delegate takes an integer argument and this function is subscribed to this event. So if I fire this event with an integer argument, the function gets called and you can see the result here. Same thing can be done using action, which is a part of the namespace system. In Godot, you can do the same using signals. I created a signal called custom signal one that takes an argument and this line connects the signal with this function. In GDScript, as variable type is dynamic by default, you can send any type of data and it will work correctly. But if you want to set a type, you can do it either like this. This way you can avoid any confusion in the project. As you can see, it works exactly the same way. There is an interesting callback system in Unity called Unity Event, which is great for connecting multiple systems without any unnecessary coupling. We can declare it without any argument or with up to four arguments. In the inspector, you can see there are new sections for the Unity events I just created. I'm gonna invoke them here with an example argument and I will try to connect them both with this function. To do this, I'm gonna simply add a new item, drag the desired object and select the function like this. If I select the one with the dynamic parameter, it will receive the parameter we send it from the code. If I select the static one, I can define a static parameter in the editor. You can also add as many items as you want. And here in the log, the first one is from code and the second one is defined in the editor. In Godot, signal can be used again to achieve the same result. I created two more signals and two more functions here. I'm gonna emit the custom signal too with an example float and connect it in the editor by going to the node tab. I'm gonna right click, connect or simply double click to bring this pop up and with this pick button I can connect it with the desired function. If you're liking this video you can subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. And you can also join my Patreon page to support my content. I'm gonna use this custom signal 3 to show you the static parameter options. To do this, I'm gonna connect it with all the functions. With these toggle buttons, you can see more functions available. First I'm gonna connect the function 1 that takes a variant which means a dynamic data type. Then I'm gonna press advanced and add a string variable. I'm gonna do this two more times by giving function 2 a float and function 3 a vector3 argument. If I play this, you can see the result. This one is the dynamic parameter sent from code and the last three are static parameters sent by custom signal 3. 